Developing tonight, a man gets a wake up call he will never forget. Imagine you hear something happening outside your house. You go outside to check it out and come face to face with a bear. No, I, I can't, but it is the latest close encounter here in Arizona, this time happening in Payson. Team 12's Jessica DeNova spoke with that shook up homeowner and got a tour of the damage. Jessica? It wasn't Goldilocks and it wasn't three bears either. It was a single black bear that caused this mess. Joseph Stapp appreciates his quiet home in the middle of the woods. The man works the graveyard shift, but Tuesday afternoon. I was actually asleep, dog making a ruckus. Then all of a sudden I heard a lot of crash. Imagine his surprise when. When you come around the corner, you got a bear sitting right there. I turn around and I go back down and I grab the 30 out six. After protection, he tries scaring the furry intruder. The animal too busy eating Blue's dog food, drinking her water, and making a mess of Stapp's deck. I called 911. Help at least a half an hour wait out here. The dispatcher tells Stapp he can't shoot the bear. I said, well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to shoot it because I ain't going to sit there with face to face with a bear without, you know, without protecting myself. Luckily, the animal wanders off, but pays Stapp another five visits, shaking things up on the property and Stapp himself. I turn around real quick with my flashlight, make sure that there's no bear around me. The Arizona Game and Fish Department eventually traps and puts down the bear, saying it was necessary because of the bear's aggressive behavior. Officials blaming drought conditions for encounters like this one. This is uh, the first uh, driest period um, recorded in, in many parts of the state. Stapp tells me this isn't his first encounter with wildlife on his property. He tells me about 11 years ago at his previous home near here, he came across a mountain lion on his driveway, but that animal took off as soon as the two made eye contact. We're in Payson, Jessica Denova, 12 News.